Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell from the title, I am sitting down and I'm filming our what's going in our hospital bags. I'm super excited because I actually did this much earlier than I did with Charlotte. I literally waited last minute when I was 38 weeks and she was born at 39 weeks and two and a half hours. Um, so yeah, I definitely went lighter as you, if you watched my um, hospital bag video with Charlotte, you would have known and seen now in this video how like not overpacked I got. Um, just because obviously I now know what I used and what I didn't use there so that is why this one is gonna be just very simple because I am just not doing that again because I barely used anything that I had in there <laughs> and also um, my outfit also was a little is a, this time around is a little bit more cozy than the other one was. I'm gonna start with like the toiletries and like just those you know kind of things so I am going to start off with like my bathroom things that I'm gonna need so I first got a um, full thing of deodorant because obviously deodorant can run out really fast if you don't have backups and stuff like that so I have one that's completely fine right now like it's pretty full still but when that time comes I have extra afterwards so I just picked up a full size um, deodorant and this one's the Dove Advanced Care. I love the Dove um, deodorants because I feel like it helps and everything like that where you know sometimes other deodorants do not so I really like this one. For a shower I am not um, going to worry about picking like packing uh, shampoo or conditioner because last time I washed my hair I did use the shampoo and conditioner that they had they're available, um, but after birth with Charlotte, my hair has been so gnarly. Like, it is so knotted. It does not matter what kind of shampoo I use. It does not matter if I, you know, cut my hair. Um, it just, I don't know why, but it has changed. Like, it is very, just a mess after showers. Like, it, it still is. It's not as bad, but it still is just awful. So I'm not gonna worry about um, like washing it. I most likely will have it washed before, even a couple of days before, so it shouldn't be like super gross or anything. And even if it was, I can come home and wash it after that because my hair usually is not the problem of feeling gross. It is my body, and especially I know I'm gonna wanna wash my body after before putting on my clothes. So I am going to just be bringing like body wash and I did have um, just some of this Halloween body wash just laying around. This one is the Vampire Blood from this last year. I have my glasses case here. Uh, most likely I will be wearing my glasses already so I probably won't need to actually pack them. But obviously I'm going to want my case because of just, you know, at night when I'm not wearing them and stuff like that or even for naps. Um, I have my glasses case here to kind of protect them a little bit more. I do need to go into an eye clinic and get my glasses like adjusted and stuff like that because they are so loose on my face. Um, just because you know that's what happens over time and then Charlotte likes to grab them and like rip them off and stuff so they're even looser now um, but yeah so I definitely want to get those done as well before um, we go to the hospital and then for the last things other than like you know more like those other basic things the last like toiletry things that I have are um, a toothbrush and toothpaste and the last thing I have is for like my hair and stuff is a scrunchie I do need to put a little claw clip with this just in case my hair is not up that day and obviously I'm gonna want it up because um, I know I did with Charlotte it just yeah yeah anyway I'm gonna pack a claw clip as well as this so if I don't have one on me I have one 
because I'll know I, need, I will need it. I just have this guy. I'm just packing one of the simple iPhone chargers just because I don't care if I accidentally leave it or, um, you know, just breaks on me. I don't know. But most likely, Trevor will be taking pictures um, and just doing all of that because if I feel any of the, like, the way I did with Charlotte, I will not really want to get out of bed. I almost dreaded getting out of bed for even peeing and stuff like that. It hurt so bad. <sighs> so, yeah. Anyway, got my charger here. For my outfit, I have packed, I have my nursing bra. I'm going to try to have this on me, like literally be wearing it, hopefully, you know, when I go into labor. And then I have my socks here, I have my no-show socks here, because you'll see why in a second-ish. And then I have this this plain long sleeve uh, maternity shirt from Target. This is the Isabel maternity one. It's comfy, so I'm packing that. And then I'm gonna be wearing my leggings. These are maternity leggings as well from Target. Um, super cozy. Uh, yeah, again, just going for comfort because I don't care what I'm going to look like. I am just going to be happy that my, my baby boy is here. So, yeah, and then this guy is my absolute favorite sweater ever right now. I wear this all the time. I'm going to be sad when it gets to become spring and, like, it's going to be warmer out and stuff and I'm not going to be able to wear it. But, yeah. So I just got this guy, and this was from TJ Maxx, so definitely look at TJ Maxx for them, because this thing was like $20, and I think sometimes at Target or Walmart even can get to be more than that. So yeah, I love this thing, and he is definitely coming home, well, he's definitely coming to, with me to the hospital. Um, and the very last thing I have packed for myself, I do have... Um, well, things that I have packed that I can pack right now. I do need to still pack my uh, prenatals. I need to still pack our snacks because we haven't went to the store yet to buy them. We were going to do that today, but the day has gotten away from us. So, um, I definitely need to do that throughout the week and stuff like that and start picking up snacks and stuff. But we still need to pack snacks, but that will be quick. And then I do have nursing pads, but most likely I won't use them. But it works out just great because they're in the diaper bag that we will be using um, on the daily, so I will have them for when we're out and about, when I will actually really need them. Anyway, so that is all that I have other than my shoes. So I did buy some new shoes because I have no comfy slip-on shoes anymore. So yeah, I finally picked up some more moccasins, so now I have comfy shoes to wear. Most likely these will stay out of the bag too, and these will be what I go to the hospital in, like I did with my boots. Um, so these aren't actually going to go in the hospital bag yet. I'm hopefully, like I said, I'm hoping to actually slip these on before. So that is everything I am packing for myself. Now we are going to go on to what I'm packing for Preston. We obviously will need to pack his car seat. His car seat is going to be in the spot that we are going to put all of our stuff in. Um, so that we can quickly just grab it when we need to. So, um... We have that. I probably actually will bring everything up here because that's what I did with Charlotte. I had it just stored in the closet. So then we could just go. Um, so I would probably bring the car seat up very so soon. Um, after, like, probably after this video, honestly. So yeah, I'm going to bring his car seat. I need to still pack. Um, I still need to go downstairs and get his boppy pillow out of storage and stuff like that. I have his poppy his bobby pillow cover right now it's just this really cute bunny print and it's not a fleece material it's like their cotton material and stuff like that so it's not super super soft but it's super cute and it's still cozy now this is everything that's going to be in his bag so i'm just packed i just packed up the um petunia pickle bottom love mickey diaper bag first things first is the outfit i'm or the thing I'm going to be putting him in for announcing that his that he's arrived. So I just have a little newborn onesie here to go on inside of it because I, I don't know. I just feel like he's going to be really cold otherwise if he's just in the cocoon. Um, I mean maybe maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
but anyway, I have this cute little itsy ritzy dinosaur print uh, cocoon. So he's gonna be like kind of swaddled and everything and just super cute. And then there is the matching hat that goes with it too. So we have that. And then we have his coming home outfit, which is my favorite, obviously. Then this is like the little hat. It's just a little blue knotted hat and it has his little name on it. And then I also have another newborn uh, onesie here to put underneath of it. And then I also have, before I show you guys his little sleeper, we have little booties. These are the little Triceratop booties from Target. They also have a green pair, but I love the blue. So yeah, that's what they kind of look like. They're kind of like all wonky from washing them and stuff. But I brought Charlotte home in her little unicorn ones, so I'm hoping it looks okay with this blue, but if not, he won't actually be coming home in it, but I want to bring him just in case. So we have his little booties, and then this is his onesie. So it just says Preston and Haze. And just this really pretty blue. It's kind of coming out like even darker on camera. Probably because it's getting darker in here. <laughs> but it also has like the little built in mittens. So we are good on that. I don't have to bring in mittens this time around, which is nice. So yeah, that is coming, that is his coming home outfit that I have planned as long as he's not, you know, any bigger than newborn sizes and stuff like that but if he is I have obviously a backup outfit just in case because obviously he's gonna need to come home in something so the first things first is I do have another onesie plain onesie this is a zero to three just in case so I have that and then this is the little hat that goes with it as you can tell another dinosaur love dinosaurs yeah so this is the little outfit that i have packed up just in case and the next things are blankets i have two blankets mainly because if the one gets gross and everything like that i am not actually getting his coming home blanket his like you know cute little blanket that i want to get pictures with him in um it doesn't get ruined you know before um, that's why I'm bringing two blankets. So I have this one. It has the, the baby blue and the stars and it has the Sherpa inside of it. Oh my gosh. I love this one. This is the very first blanket I ever purchased after finding out we were having a boy. So that is why it's coming with us to the hospital because I did that with Charlotte too. It's coming home blanket, which is so adorable. I, again, I will have all of this that I can find obviously. So mainly his coming home outfit and probably the cutie cocoon the other blanket the star blanket I probably won't be able to blink because that was a TJ Maxx purchase as well as the dinos this dinosaur um, outfit these are both from TJ Maxx so you know how TJ Maxx is so yeah but anyway this is the coming home blanket I got for him just says Preston Hayes and it's in the font Love Monster and as well as the color Haze, like H-A-Z-E. So super, super cute, super soft. Um, this is the brand uh, Sugar House Baby from Etsy. So I will link this down below for you guys if you guys are interested in, in this blanket and as well as the next thing I'm about to show you. So I will link those down as well as the fonts that I used and the colors I used for him. So yeah, this is the blanket that I'm bringing him home in. Fairly simil similar to Charlotte's, but obviously they're two different um, shops that I bought them from. Then I have a little burp rag because you never know if you'll need one or not. And the very, very last thing that I'm bringing, okay, second to last actually because I about forgot one more thing. But this is his name plaque, which you guys would have probably seen if you follow me on Instagram. I got it from Etsy. I will link that down below as well as the fonts I used. Um, but I want to definitely put this on his um, 
like in his bassinet or on his chest or whatever I, like whatever we decide to do the day of but we did this with Charlotte with hers and it was from the same exact shop sh shopped the same exact shop that we purchased Charlotte's from and I kind of want to keep things fairly the same but obviously they're not completely because they're two different babies the very very last thing is a sound machine so we have this cute little skip hop travel size uh, sound machine we brought this with us to the hospital which was just perfect because it really helped with the quiet room um, so I'm definitely bringing this again so I just have him attached to the little um, clippy thingy but I definitely have him packed that is definitely a must but that is everything and Charlotte's not on here since she just woke up from her nap anywho I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one For a phone, <laughs> you cute. Ah, yeah, is this for my glasses? Can you say hi? Hi, hi, hi. Are you cute? Those, those, those. You want it back? Okay. All right.